Charlie Cushane here to do another mod to my truck camper. And this time it has to do with the noise from my water pump, which you see is right here. I moved it there in an attempt to make it quieter, but it's not quieter. And I've changed to this pump, which is a SureFlow pump, and, it, and I'm still having noise issues. So let's take a look at what's going on and see if we can quiet it. Okay, as you can see, I have a SureFlow 4008 water pump. Um, I had this mounted on an outside wall. It was way too noisy. So I said, L let me get it mounted somewhere else. And I actually put a piece of uh, half inch plywood that goes all the way up and down in my cabinet here. There's, it doesn't touch anywhere else but on the ends. And it's pretty solid. Then I mounted the pump to it. And as you can see, with the rubber feet, it's pretty good. It's, you know, you could see it moving there. It's, so it shouldn't be noisy, but this pump is very noisy. So I'm gonna try, you know, I thought maybe it was these hoses, which everybody says, but these are nice flexible hoses. You know, I'm front and back. So that's not the issue. Um, nothing touches these hoses. So you see, it's really flexible. So I don't know why. Let's take some noise readings and see what we get. Okay, I have a sound meter set up right here, as you can see, recording the sound level. And I'm going to go in, turn the water on, and we're going to get a baseline um, for how noisy this is. And I'll set this to hold the highest number, so we'll have a record of it. So here goes. Okay, that was the kitchen sink, uh, full flow. And as you see, it registered 77.1. Okay, the first thing I've heard uh, by watching other people is putting this insulation, this one inch diameter for pipes, put it, insulate all these all the way back and that will quiet your water pump. So. I'm going to go put this on and then I'll get back to you and we'll take another noise reading. Okay, I was very careful to put that pipe insulation on. As you can see, it goes around, all the way around. And down here. And it's, uh, it's insulated all the way around. So wherever it was potentially touching, it's not. So now let's do a sound check. The sound level was almost exactly the same with and without the insulation. So that really had no effect. Have to try something else now. Okay, the puzzling thing about this pump, I tested it on a, just a bucket of water and a couple of little hoses and it was quiet as a mouse. But ever since I installed it in my camper, it appears anytime there's some kind of restriction, like at my kitchen faucet or my uh, faucet drinking sterilizer, it puts back pressure on the pump and that's when it gets really noisy. Now I can show that because we noticed with our toilet, it's much quieter. So I'm gonna go push on the toilet and we'll see what the reading is. So let me set this. With a 13 dB reduction in sound between the restricted flow kitchen faucet and the free flow toilet, that equates to about half the noise level, which is getting very close to being acceptable. So we still have a little further to go to reduce the noise. Okay, let's do a quick summary. So far, what we've determined was when the pump has restrictions, it gets much noisier. And when we ran it with the toilet with no restrictions, it was much quieter. We also learned that because it got so much quieter with no restrictions, 
The mount, that means the mounting of the pump is good, meaning the, the rubber is working and the vibrations are not the cause of the problem. And actually insulating the pipes didn't do any good at all. So we have one thing left we can try that I can think of to make it quieter. And <clears throat> here it is. This is called the IRVWPC2, which stands for Intelligent RV Water Pump Controller. This is a brand, relatively new controller, a couple of years, I guess. Um, it's made in Canada and it's designed specifically to address this problem of a loud water pump. And the way they explain it is normally when you turn your water pump on, like I do, it's full on, full off, full on, full off. So even if you have a low flow, the pump is full trying to force water, but it can't. That's what makes it noisy. So what they do is this is an electronic controller that governs the motor and lowers the power to the motor. So it gives you as much push from the motor as you need at the faucet. So if you have a highly restricted faucet like we do, it'll lower the pump um, effort to push the water through it and give you just the right amount of flow and makes it substantially quieter. I've watched their videos, it's very impressive. So we're gonna install this. It's relatively easy, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing they tell you to do is turn off the power to the pump, which I did, I turned the switch off, and drain the water, so you take the pressure off the lines, because this device works by putting this pressure sensor in line, so it goes on the output line of the pump. So I gotta take this off, screw this on, and then screw this back onto here. That's not too, too bad. Now let's put this in line. And this is no Teflon thread, they said, tape. Just put this on, but the sensor should face upwards. There we go, and then put this back on. There we go. Okay, there. The next thing you have to do is mount the controller up top. I'm gonna mount it up here where it'll be safe and dry and relatively easy to get to. And then there's a wiring harness that goes to the pump wiring. So that's the next thing to do. Okay, the first thing I'll have to, I think I'll do is I'll plug this in. There we go. That way I know it's, I have the length of wire I need. And then I'll fish this down. There we go. Now I need my drill. There we go. That's all mounted. And I took the screws out of the corners. So but to get at some of the switches, you can get at them in there, the dip switches. So for now, I'll just leave that on there. Okay. They say don't plug this in yet to here. That should be the last thing you do after you start the pump and drain the lines or get the air out. So the next thing to do is to connect these wires to the pump. Let's do that next. So theoretically, it's all wired up right. I guess the next thing to do, they say, is uh, turn the motor on, the pump on, and run it so that there's no air in the line. So let's go do that. And when I do turn the pump on, it's going to work just like normal. Should be nothing happening here yet because I have not yet plugged in the sensor into here. And that comes later. 
So let's just go turn the pump on, see if it'll turn on. Okay, the pump is turned off again. I've run the lines to get the air out. Now I'm gonna plug this pressure sensor. Apparently it only goes one way. This way. There we go. Okay, now it's time to do a test of the kitchen faucet with a restricted flow and we'll see how loud it gets. Well, my pump quieting project is complete and I would have to say it was a success. This IRVW PC2 the Intelligent RV Water Pump Controller actually did what it was supposed to. It quieted it down from about 77 decibels to 54. And we were hoping to get below 64, which was very acceptable. Absolutely worthwhile, and I can't wait to go on our first camping trip with it. Okay, one more thing to show you that is a benefit. This is how smooth the flow is. You can see how smooth it is. You can't even hear the pump running. It's unbelievable how quiet it is. And this faucet used to pulse and the, the pump would bang. You don't hear anything and look how smooth the flow is. It's unbelievable how great that is. Uh, it should sterilize our water and it's a lot quieter. So this has been a win, win, win.